Big rigs apparently causing big problems in Chino. Hundreds of semi trucks are using a main road through that city, but it's not a truck route. Some of the people there say the big rigs are a noisy nuisance and officials say they are damaging the roads. Residents say the trucks make traffic on Chino Avenue just horrible. Some can't even make the turns because the intersections are too narrow. KTLA Shelby Nelson joins us from Chino where increased police patrols are cracking down on big rig drivers using the wrong route. That's right, we've all seen them. Semi trucks and commercial vehicles on city streets and frankly in areas where they're not supposed to be. And the city of Chino is no different. In particular, where we are standing, this is where that problem begins oftentimes because it's near the 71 freeway along Chino Avenue. We saw not one, not two, but truck after truck after truck using Chino Avenue as part of their route. Problem is vehicles that are more than about 10,000 pounds are not supposed to be driving here. In many cases, uh, we've had them take out street signs. We've had them take out fire hydrants. We've had them take out signal poles. Not to mention the infrastructure just can't handle it. It leads to potholes over time and cracks in the roadway. For residents who live close by, it's also just about the quality of living. The house shakes. I watch my two grandkids, so it wakes them up when they're taking their naps. This temporary sign board on Chino Avenue near the 71 freeway off ramp is a warning. It's where a lot of the trucks are driving to and from. Commercial drivers in violation could face a $250 fine. Residents tell KTLA they always see trucks pulled over in this area, and while they believe it's helping, it has gotten a little better. But, but they still come on. Chino Police Lieutenant Ted Olden says this has been an ongoing problem that they're trying to get a handle on by adding more signage, educating drivers, and providing Chino businesses with a map of the designated truck route. Citing drivers is the last resort. When we're contacting these drivers, what we're finding out is they're, they're utilizing mapping systems that direct them to certain uh, routes. Uh, and that obviously that's to avoid you know traffic. But a lot of the typical mapping systems don't always consider state and city truck maps that commercial drivers are supposed to be adhering to. From June of 2023 to June of 24, 400 citations have been issued in Chino. There are times when uh, an officer may contact the driver and find that he is making a delivery and has legal right to make that delivery. Now, some vehicles are exempt, like buses and vehicles that are making deliveries within the city. But again, the idea here is to get those drivers in compliance and a $250 citation might just do it. Reporting in Chino, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.